Greetings, seekers of the supernatural. Today we embark on an immersive exploration into the chilling chronicles of Borley Rectory, a place shrouded in the dark veil of the paranormal. Reverberating through the annals of history as the most haunted house in England, Borley Rectory bore witness to a plethora of unexplainable phenomena during the tumultuous 1930s. Join us on this extensive journey as we unravel the perplexing tapestry of phantom footsteps, spectral apparitions, and mysterious writings that etch themselves into the very fabric of this enigmatic mansion. Before we delve into the spectral maelstrom that unfolded within the confines of Borley Rectory, let us set the stage with a glimpse into the historical backdrop. In the 1930s, this imposing edifice nestled in the serenity of Borley, Essex, gained notoriety as the residence of Harry Price, a pioneering paranormal investigator. Little did Price and his team know that their quest for the unknown would thrust them into the epicenter of one of the most puzzling and malevolent hauntings ever recorded. Our odyssey commences with an introduction to Borley Rectory, a Victorian-era mansion standing amidst the ruins of an ancient monastery. With its Gothic architecture and ominous atmosphere, Borley Rectory already bore the weight of a mysterious past, setting the stage for the supernatural drama that would unfold within its walls. As Harry Price and his team took residence in Borley Rectory, they were thrust into a realm where the ordinary blurred with the otherworldly. Phantom footsteps echoed through its corridors. Ethereal apparitions materialized in broad daylight, and unexplained sounds permeated the very fabric of reality. The mansion became a breeding ground for a myriad of paranormal occurrences, each more perplexing than the last. At the heart of Borley Rectory's haunting was the ominous legend of the Borley Nun. Tales spoke of a tormented spirit, a nun bricked into the monastery's walls centuries ago, now seeking solace or revenge. This chilling legend added a layer of malevolence to the already unsettling paranormal activities fueling speculation about the dark history that permeated the rectory. With unwavering determination, Harry Price, armed with cameras, recording devices, and a team of investigators, undertook the daunting task of unraveling the mysteries of Borley Rectory. His meticulous records and tireless efforts in documenting the supernatural activities stand as a testament to the rigor with which he approached the investigation. Price's investigations yielded a trove of supernatural evidence that lent credence to the haunting. Photographs captured ethereal figures, audio recordings preserved unexplained sounds, and eyewitness accounts painted a vivid picture of a mansion besieged by forces beyond the comprehension of the living. Skepticism, in the face of such tangible evidence, became increasingly difficult to maintain. In 1929, the Foister family moved into Borley Rectory, blissfully unaware of the horrors awaiting them. Reverend Lionel Foister, his wife Marianne, and their daughter Adelaide became unwitting participants in the haunting. Marianne claimed to be a direct target of unseen forces, subjected to physical and psychological torment within the mansion's ominous embrace. Among the myriad of evidence collected by Price, one image stood out as an iconic encapsulation of Borley Rectory's supernatural aura, the Borley Nun photograph. A cloaked spectral figure captured in the rectory's window, this image would go on to become a haunting symbol of the unexplainable events within. In 1939, Borley Rectory met its tragic end when a fire engulfed its Gothic structure. The flames devoured the mansion, leaving behind a smoldering ruin and adding yet another layer of mystery to the Borley saga. Questions about the fire's origin and its connection to the supernatural have lingered, haunting the historical narrative. The Borley Rectory haunting, reduced to smoldering ruins, left an indelible mark on the annals of paranormal lore. Books, documentaries, and countless articles have dissected its enigmatic history, weaving the Rectory's tale into the fabric of the supernatural consciousness. Even as decades have passed, the enigma of Borley Rectory continues to perplex and tantalize those who seek to unravel its mysteries. Was it a genuine case of paranormal activity, an elaborate ruse, or a combination of both? The questions persist, as does the allure of this haunted relic of the past. 
Recent years have seen exhaustive efforts to demystify the Borley Rectory legend. Revelations suggest that Harry Price, the very investigator who brought the haunting to public attention, may have embellished or even orchestrated aspects of the haunting for personal gain. This revelation has ignited controversy and debate among paranormal enthusiasts, adding a new layer of complexity to the Borley legacy. Borley Rectory, despite the controversies surrounding its history, undeniably left an indelible mark on the field of paranormal research. Its legacy reminds investigators to approach such cases with a discerning eye, recognizing the complexities that may intertwine truth and embellishment. In conclusion, Borley Rectory stands as a testament to the enduring allure and mystery of the paranormal. Whether you are a believer or skeptic, the legacy of Borley Rectory beckons us to explore the unknown, question the unexplained, and remain ever curious. The truth, though elusive, is an ongoing quest, one that continues to captivate the hearts and minds of those who dare to venture into the shadows. Thank you for joining us on this extensive journey into the heart of the Borley Rectory haunting. If you found this exploration as riveting as we did, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more in-depth explorations of mysteries and the unexplained. Until next time, remain curious and never cease seeking the truth. Connect with us on social media to stay updated and engage in discussions. Until next time, stay curious and keep seeking the truth.